Why did the Coptic Egyptian church make no mention of pyramids? They only spoke spoke of Joseph Joseph granaries. Yeah, the Joseph granaries. Granary, you gotta understand. In ancient times, they were just be they were bewildered by the by the pyramids too. But as far as uh, grain silos go, that old theory has been around for a long time that the pyramids were were built to hold grain. But it's comical. It's ridiculous. They would never even be good to serve that purpose. It would never hold enough grain. They're solid structures. Great Pyramid is gigantic, but it's solid. It's a solid 203 levels of blocks that are 2.5 tons each. 5,000 pound blocks that go all the way up 454 feet to a flat, pat, a flat platform. It's not, it's not ideal for holding grain. Additionally, there's no way into the pyramid before the 13th century. Humans had never been able to climb the pyramid because it was mirror smooth. It was marble smooth white limestone casing blocks with no joints detectable that went all the way to the top. There's no way to climb it. It's at 51.51 degrees. There's no way to get up it. So, no, nah, there's no, yeah. It was, a 820, it was an 828D that the caliphate... Uh, Al Mamon of Baghdad, Babylon, the new Babylon, uh, sent an expedition to tunnel inside the Great Pyramid. That's when they made their discoveries that the Great Pyramid on the inside was full of the Queen's Chamber, King's Chamber, Antechamber, lock, weird, bizarre lock mechanism uh, area uh, uh, where these granite leaves would slide into place for, for maybe different resonance. Uh, I don't know, but also the Grand Gallery, which is the biggest mystery of them all, and the empty sarcophagus which is not a sarcophagus, it's, a, it's just a container. But the Grand Gallery is so weird. It's got technolithic niches all along as if some gigantic metal spoked wheel mechanism went rapidly up and down that, up and down that gallery. It's hundreds of feet long, so it could have. We just don't know yet. I know if I had a panel of scientists and mathematicians with me, and they gave me about 30 days to go survey the inside of the Great Pyramid, I promise you, I'm going to come back with some answers. I am. It has nothing to do with intellect. It has everything to do with the spiritual quality we call imagination. Because imagination is led by another spiritual quality, which is called intuition. And intuition is the predecessor of knowledge. As long as you are so hypersensitive that you can follow your intuitive leaps, they will lead into cognitive leaps, and you will begin putting things together that you would have never imagined before. Imagination is spiritual. Believe that. 